Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you had a happy holiday, a Merry Christmas, whatever you celebrate. And I hope you got to spend it with some loved ones, some family, some friends. Um, I just hope it was a wonderful time for you. Thank you for joining me today. We're obviously going to be doing a tack haul, as it says in the title. And <laughs> this is going to be a huge tack haul. Some of this stuff is stuff I bought at the main event uh, back in October and meant to do a tack haul, but never got around to it. Um, some things I ordered myself before Christmas and just kind of saved them for the tack haul. Haven't used a lot of them yet because they were first showing and show season ended in October. And some of the things are my Christmas gifts. So without further ado, we're going to get right into it. Um, I'm going to start with some Christmas gifts. So the first thing I got was from my parents, and it's this Temple Equestria jacket that has this expandable hood, uh, really nice reflective, and the hood zips bigger and smaller so you can wear it over your helmet while you're riding, or just zip it smaller to have it like normal. Um, it does have reflective material everywhere, which is nice. It has this grey faux fur on the inside and I think it's so luxurious and warm. I absolutely love it. It feels extremely waterproof. Um, I'm really excited. I think it's gorgeous. I'm gonna put a picture in the side because it is a long jacket like down almost to my knees. It's really hard to kind of show it all in my little space here on camera. Uh, it has vents up the back so when you're riding, you unzip so that you have room to move and sit in your saddle. And then if you want to just wear it normal, you can keep that close. Uh, the next thing I got was whole blankets. And they're just navy and silver and they have a belly band wrap around. And they're by Horseware Ireland. I got three of them. They come sized in six inch increments because they're quite adjustable. I have two foals for this winter and one wasn't born till September 5th. So he's a little closer to winter than normally foals are born. So I wanted to have these blankets on hand just in case we get any weird weather. Right now they're unblanketed doing just fine in their fuzzy coats but sometimes here where I am it goes from like zero to plus five to like minus 20 just for a week or so end of January, February. So I got these in anticipation of that. I don't want them to get too shocked uh, when that weather does come. So I got three of them to make sure that I had enough size overlap to definitely fit the two. My poles are two months apart, so should be all set. All right, the next thing I got was in my stocking and it's this little sparkly unicorn crop. I think it's super adorable. Um, my mom got it, she's really cute. Uh, so it's black and silver glitter and a little unicorn head. The next thing I got, which were also stocking stuffers, is this purple shedding blade and a royal blue sweat scraper slash squeegee. Um, my mom found these and thought they would be great for in the trailer. Uh, one of our trailers is really well lit on the inside and one of them is not at all. So these stick to the wall and the sides of the trailer and then you just flick them on. And they're actually really bright so... I think it's such a clever idea, so those were definitely going to stick on the inside of probably my smaller three horse trailer uh, because it doesn't have lights in the tack room at all, which is really annoying when you're trying to find stuff. Um, this is a non-horsey thing, it's pretty much the only thing in my whole haul. Oh no, there's two things. Okay, this is dry shampoo, my sister got it for me. Uh, it's Osis by Swarskoff and it's probably really good. I've never used this particular one before, but I love dry shampoo. And if you ride in a helmet all the time, you probably love dry shampoo too. So, hooray for that. She also got me these Under Armour leggings. They're just like a black on black camel print. They're for the gym. Um, so again, not a horse thing. Still a cool thing. The uh, last thing I got in my stocking was these super cute pink fox petties. They're so adorable, but unfortunately they're the girls. My mom didn't realize there was ladies and girls petties, and I have huge feet, like size 10 ladies. 
So I will have to exchange these. She did give me the receipts. So I'll have to go back to the store and get some ladies ones, which I'm really sad about because I know they don't have all the same prints in ladies and youths. And I think these pink foxes are the cutest thing. Okay, next thing I got, uh, I got for myself. I bought it. It is a bitless bridal. And if you've been following my channel and watching my other videos, you'll know I like to start horses and rope halters and I have a rope halter kind of side pull thing um, but I do find it quite abrasive with the paracord and there's no way to adjust the nose band on it so it's not ideal uh, I've wanted a leather one for a while so I finally bit it, the bullet and bought one and it's a beautiful dark brown leather and it has the thicker stiffer nose band and then the rings on each side so it is a side pull not a hackmore just a one-to-one -one pressure right on the side of the horse's muzzle. So yeah, super excited for that. Um, Maverick had some teeth issues last year that we worked through. Uh, he had to go to the vet a few times and get, I think he got three teeth total pulled. But during that time, I wasn't riding him in a bit. <laughs> it would have been nice to have this because it just, it looks so much classier, but that's not what is important. A rope halter works just fine, but I am super glad to have this. And I wouldn't feel so uh, self-conscious if I were to show in this at a little local show versus like a rope halter just doesn't look very tidy and professional. The first item I got was from the main event and I got a super crazy good deal. It's insane. Um, this is my first like brand name helmet. I've had international riding horse helmets and I know that's a brand name but it's not, they're the lower end of the price point and I don't mind that at all. It's a helmet to keep my head safe and I'd rather replace them frequently and have my head be safe than spend a bunch of money on something fashionable. But I did get this Charles Owen GR8 at the main event. Um, it's really beautiful. It was on super discount. Uh, it was so crazy. I have a really big head so often I do find helmets on sale. Um, so it's the low profile one. It has such a more comfortable harness and the way it does up is different than any helmet I've ever owned with like this weird like hook system and it's supposed to be so you can do it up with one hand. I don't know who that's a priority for but whatever. Um, so again, Charles Owen GR8. They retail regular in Canada for about $570 and then plus tax. Um, and this one was on clearance for $150. It was the last one left. So. I grabbed it. The box has seen better days. Um, I'm super stoked uh, on my new helmet. It's very comfortable. The next thing I got, again, I bought, uh, are these, they're just like the hands-on grooming gloves. Like identical. I see the hands-on ones in stores. Same, same Velcro closure, same everything. They just don't have the lime green logoing. And they're way cheaper. You can find these on Amazon. And I absolutely love these gloves, and the horses love these gloves, so I got a few pairs so I can have one in each grooming box. I got a size large for my boyfriend because he likes to scratch the horses too. And then I got a pair just for bathing, because once they get wet you don't want to like slide your hand in there to groom. It's kind of ucky, so I really love them. The horses all line up when you wear them into the paddock, and it's hard to leave again because everybody just wants just one more turn with the scratches. And, yeah, super really recommend these and they get such a deep clean when you're bathing your horse. I love them. Okay, next things I got. I ordered some noble stuff. I got this red grooming tote. I have the black and tan grooming tote, but I'm going to clean that one up and use it for shows. It's going to live in my armoire. I'm always paranoid about forgetting it. I have more than enough brushes to fully kit out two grooming totes. So this one's going to be my at-home grooming tote that never leaves my tack room. And the other one's going to be in the trailer for my shows. And... It's always so frustrating when I come home from a show and I want to go ride a horse <laughs> and then like my grooming kit's over there. It's still going to happen. There's always like a bridle or a girth that I forgot in the trailer. Um, I guess it's just my life. So, and my trailer is parked like quite far from my tack room. It's not like it's just outside. So, this will solve that problem in the grooming department anyway. The next thing I got was also the Noble Collection. Um, so I am collecting the Noble stuff. I already had the tall boot bag, the black and tan um, grooming tote, the little equine essential or whatever it's called, the little mini grooming tote, um, the boots, the mud boots in the black and gold or black and tan, and 
Uh, I also bought two Guardsman blankets, one for Flash, one for Striker. They're the four-in-ones with the removable liners, and they're in the same black and tan kind of color scheme. So I got two of those. Um, they're already wearing them. I'll put a picture of each of them wearing their new blankies here. I love the liner. You don't have to take the blanket off to change the liners, which I love. Because when you're going from like a heavy blanket to a lighter blanket, sometimes you pull the blanket off the clip torso and put like the new cold blanket on and they're like, oh, why? So it's really cool that you don't have to take them off to change the liner. So I got this. This is the show ready grooming, or <laughs> grooming coat. This is the show ready garment bag. And this one, I didn't specify the color. Uh, it came in turquoise, which I did want the gold and black, but I think I'm going to get the gold and black anyway uh, at a bit later time but then I do want to show Apollo Western and I might show Diamond Western as well because I would like to take her like to the world APHA show um, so I figured I'd use the turquoise one for any Western wardrobe and I do go to like basically the equivalent of a state fair it's a provincial exhibition because I'm up in Canada but same same thing as a state fair and they have Western and English events and jumping and like driving everything there at once so this would be super handy to keep my western stuff here and my english stuff in the tan bag and then i can tell them apart but they still look all cohesive as a set but i can easily grab the one i'm actually at show ready garment the next thing i got that is like half for me half for my boyfriend because really he's going to be the one wearing it more than me <laughs> is this the ringside backpack and I know everybody pretty much has these already, so I'm not going to go into too much depth about each pocket. Uh, it has like a little pocket for your crops, um, the front for your helmet, and then a whole bunch of little pockets, keys, and cell phone on the inside. I'm sure you've all seen this like a hundred times before, but I'm super excited to finally have one. And the last piece of the collection for now is the Bits and Pieces Bridal Bag. So it has this squared off hook, which I really like. Um, my armoire is very square and it's made out of wood. My grandfather made it for me and I think this will hang really nicely off the lip. So I'm excited for that. Uh, on the inside, it just has the like plastic clips. So it's really secure even if it tips upside down, it won't fall off like the hook ones. I look there because I have one hanging right there, but it won't fall off if you're throwing it around, which sometimes happens. So. Yeah, it's a really nice bridal bag. I quite like it. Little pocket on the front for your little accessories. Okay, next thing I got was <laughs> specifically for Diamond. I wanted to get something for each of my young horses that are being going to be started kind of this fall, winter, spring of 2019. Um, so they each got a thing. And Diamond got this. It's a mesh eared navy blue bonnet. And it has a silver twisted rope and then the full rhinestone trim. I think it's super adorable. I think it's going to look really good on diamond. The next thing I got is a noise cancelling bonnet. It's just plain black. Um, it was $29. And I do have some horses sensitive to noises. I've never used plugs or noise cancelling bonnets or anything before. Um, and I don't agree with them for training. I think you should work on desensitizing your horse and and having it have enough trust and confidence in you that every little thing is not going to get to it however at a show when you're paying a lot of money to go into class and like some little kid decides to like pop a bag of chips or like jump and make a loud crashing noise and I've had all these things happen we've had such ridiculous things happen um that maybe the noise cancelling bonnet is just a bit of an edge for those really unexpected circumstances that there's just not really a way you could prepare your horse and and even if your horse doesn't react in a big way even if they just lose focus and take a rail like to me if you can have something that maybe prevents that from happening again when you're paying such money for the classes then maybe it's worth it for that definitely not something I would train in um, I always train in quite minimal gear I wouldn't plug their ears and do all that and try to drown the world out around them no I want to expose them to the world and and all that but again those unexpected things that especially non-horse people do at shows around horses that maybe this will just give me a bit of an advantage so we'll give it a try I might hate it who knows it was it was only a $29 risk so not too worried 
Uh, next thing I got from the main event was this. It's just a v-neck pink t-shirt says, May the course be with you. Uh, we just watched Solo before I went and I thought it was super cute, so voila. The next thing I got also from the main event was for my other filly. So she's really dark bay right now. She's going gray, but she seems to be graying fairly slowly. She's almost three and she's still like, from a distance you can't even tell she's going gray at all. She's more like a rabbisiano, um, but she's definitely going gray. So I got her this burnt orange dressage pad because I think burnt orange on a dark steel gray is just so attractive. Um, I got her the matching bonnet because I have a bonnet obsession. I couldn't find it. I used it um, and I think it's at the barn. I only had a quick look for it and I'm like I really need to get this tack all up because Christmas has been like four days ago already so so I didn't spend all the time to look for it but it's just this exact color matching. It has a bit of bling around it and I think it's gonna look so stunning on her. And to go with the burnt orange set, I think these are so fun. I got these and they're called braid bling. There we go. And they're just these little like stretchy metal bands with orange little full rhinestones in them. And you put them around the base. I've seen people do them. I've never had a set myself. Uh, I think it's gonna be so cute though. I love them. They were on sale half price, which is a lot of the reason why I decided to try it. And also that the fact that they were orange, I was like, oh yeah, like we got this. So I'm excited for that. Okay, the last two things before we get into the saddles were my Christmas presents from my boyfriend's family. So I got this all-purpose slash jumping Anki pad and it's in the color mint green. Uh, I think it's super cute. I love aquas and mint greens. I don't have anything that matches mint green. This is my first, I believe, mint green item. Uh, <laughs> so I'm gonna have to find a bonnet and some boots. Uh, and then they also got me this. I think this is so gorgeous. It is black and it has the copper sparkle and uh, I don't know how well it's picking up on camera but like underneath the black there's a copper sheen and I think this is gonna look absolutely amazing on a chestnut horse because it's gonna just like bring out their dark like rich red colors um, so I'm super stoked I love Anki pads they don't have billet straps they only have the girth strap and then this silicone keeps the saddle in place and they have this black really breathable like micro mesh on the underside and they're so squashy but not so bulky. I just really do love these pads. I have quite a few of them now. Yeah. But yeah, you can always have more saddle pads. Okay, so now we're on to the saddles. And the saddles are something I ordered myself. I took a bit of a gamble on them. Um, it's kind of a long story. I work at a place that allows me access to certain deals and things that the average person wouldn't have. I'm not going to say too much more about it, but I didn't know what these were going to turn out like. I had low expectations. I was only going to order one saddle. My boyfriend stepped in and said, get one of every kind you like. What? Like, go big or go home. Take the risk. And I was like, you know what? Okay. No problem. So, um, the first one is this dressage saddle and it is gorgeous it has a soft big knee lock it's mono flap with the long billets um, it's just beautiful the all three saddles have interchangeable gullet plates and flexible white urethane trees so that's a mono flap dressage i'm gonna have to speed along because my camera battery is flashing Wow, let's go. This is my favorite of the three. I've ridden in it already. It's a close contact, so the classic square cantle. It's got movable thigh block and pencil knee block. And this beautiful padding detail. I just think it's gorgeously done. And it's in a dark chocolate brown. And the third saddle I got is a show jumping saddle. So the difference between show jumping and close contact, uh, this one has a rounded cantle. That's the biggest visual difference. 
This one has a nice forward flap. That's how you know it's not on all purpose. A uh, little bit of padding here, a little bit of padded detail here. Um, permanent pencil knee roll and thigh block. Ultra wide gullet on this one. I'm a little worried about this gullet. Uh, I might have to do some adjusting, but I am a leather worker, so I'm not too concerned about it. Might have to play around with it. This one's slightly more red brown than the other, but it's still quite a dark Havana. It was supposed to be like oak bark color to match half my tax oak bark, half my tax like chocolate brown Havana. Um, so they didn't follow the instructions very well, but I'm still super pleased for the deal I got on these, which was so insane. I'm super excited to have all these saddles now and not necessarily have to do the scramble and and the sharing of saddles at a show when you have two, three, four, five horses on the go. Um, five is my max that I've shown at one show and it's a little crazy. So anything I can do to make it a little less crazy, hey, I'm all for it. Um, along with the saddles, I did get two sets of gullet plates. They did differ on the order sheet and I wasn't sure why. You can see this one comes and then has an extra flare, whereas this one's just like a straight contour. So these ones, come down and then widen, and these ones are just like a V. So between the two plates and all the plates in the saddles already, I'm hoping I can configure these, that I can use them without any kerfuffling around. Um, yeah, so this concludes my very large tack haul. Thank you so much for joining me, and if you made it to the end, um, thanks for staying. Please don't forget to subscribe. I know I've been a little absent lately. My life is a little bit hectic. I'm really making an effort to kind of streamline things so I don't get so overwhelmed all the time. And I really would like to have a weekly upload schedule starting in early 2019. So please like, subscribe. Any suggestions for videos? I know I have some from last year. I haven't forgotten. Um, some people wanted to see me use like my horse archery bow and all that stuff that I got last year. Don't worry, it's coming. I haven't gotten around to it yet. I do work full time. I manage the horses on lease property. No one looks after them for me. So I do get quite overwhelmed and overworked. And sometimes it's just too much to take the extra time to bring out the camera. Um, so I do apologize. I would like my YouTube channel to be a big thing and I think it would be super fun. I wanna do cool giveaways with like leather working stuff that I make or other stuff. Look forward to some DIYs in the future. A whole bunch of show jump building. If you saw my paint job on my last one, like, we're just getting started. I just remembered. I did get one more thing for Christmas. Totally forgot. Not horse related, but so exciting. I got the GoPro Hero 7 Black. So the voice control one with the extra image stabilization. Um, that's from my parents. I was so shocked they bought it for me because I know it's very expensive. But I hope to bring you some really awesome videos soon. We have the drone. We have this. I bought the Pixim Robot Cameraman, but it doesn't work with Android yet, so I'm really disappointed about that. Um, so far, I can't use it the way it's intended. I'm working with the guy to hopefully get it sorted out. But if you're thinking of buying a Pixim and having an Android, just maybe wait, because it's not working, like, at all. So, GoPro Hero 7, Pixim, drone, and, and I hope to bring you some totally awesome footage in the new year, and I look forward to all of it, and... I'm going to do some goal setting and planning with you in my next video that will be out before New Year's. So please stay tuned for that. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. Happy holidays. Happy New Year. I hope you had a great time with your family, friends, and or loved ones.